In this video I want to analyse my last race which was in Marseille in the south of France in the Masters category 40 years old and plus and I chose to line up on the outside I was on the third row and I thought the first corner would be faster on the outside because that's what I was taught in geography with rivers I didn't get away to a brilliant start that's for sure and this rider I could see he was going to come across but I was quite quite happy not not that quick but hey I'm gonna make up room on the outside and as you can see on the outside you need to be going way faster than a rider on the inside and the riders on the inside rode around that corner really really nicely and gained quite a few meters on me so the rider who started ahead of me is now way up so I haven't ridden a very good first 100 meters now into this tight section and I'm trying to make up ground and we just get the other side was better the tape had knocked over and you know I had to move my handlebar around the, the tape post and I lost so many places there the rider who started ahead of me is now way up so this is actually a pretty bad start but things look up because I see something wonderful in one second look at it it's an open lane for me to go down and I'm going to unclip and start running because this corner is very tight and bumpy but you can run it and the rider behind me says run Joseph run so that's quite friendly so rather than uh, being bad and getting back on here and blocking him and everyone else I run down here wave him through and jump back on and he flies on past so I'm going to skip forward much of flat one because we just stayed in line like this for a while until after the technical section where I felt I could overtake this rider and I put in a burst of power to get past knowing that we were coming into a slower technical section where I could recover from that little sprint and everyone appears to be riding this section take note for that later everyone was riding it I didn't want to get my feet all muddy and then have to trouble clipping in down the straight I didn't have the power to overtake but I had planned an overtake when I was checking out the course and these bushes aren't spiky so quite easy to power past and once again a nice slower section of rolling so I can recover after that effort just block the inside and that's my place and then immediately I noticed the rider ahead it's a bit slow getting off and I would go past at the barriers but they're too narrow here every year it's the same so I had to wait and then he holds the seat like I don't know what technique that is but it's not fast so I make up a place quite easily there and the rider ahead of me is a good rider from Bear he is fast he has overtaken me a few times this year already so I'm quite happy in my position now I'd be happy to stay here another two three laps and just ride behind him and that was my plan but then I saw up ahead a rider like on the floor or something we'll find out later so someone's crashed so I'm gonna put a red X he's kind of crashed the rider heads going on the outside I see a line around the inside to overtake them both so I take it and then he's back up so it's a bit awkward with the rider to my left I'm sorry and then the rider ahead of me slows down throws his sunglasses so apparently it looks like he dropped his glasses earlier um, and he takes that kind of wide line so I'm like look I need to drop in pump that and then make another move which I didn't really want to make either of those moves and now I need to catch up the riders of the head and they are quite far ahead and what's worse is I've got like this group behind me and I don't want to rejoin this group behind me Look, there's like one, two, three, four, five, maybe six riders behind me, and I don't want to get into that group. I want to get to the group ahead, so I take this corner fast, take the whole rest of this first section as fast as I can, and let's see how fast I can take this corner. Not that great, pushing a bit of tape, so um, not bad, but then this rider shows me really good tape pushing that's how we do it out here so yeah I think I can improve my cornering um, for sure 
heading up here, chasing the rider ahead who was running the section. Make note of that. I saw it and I thought, I'm not sure it's faster. And through the section, I should be catching up. And it was like two laps of chasing this guy and someone was catching me up in the white and red there. So I knew someone was right behind me through the section, so no mistakes. And if they're catching me up, they're probably going to come and pass me. And this section, I found if I took some speed down here, you could use that speed to get up here. And I saw his foot come off and I had the momentum and I took the place immediately. And that rider is a strong rider who beat me um, a Saturday ago, just being strong. So I thought, right, I really need to get away from him. Ride the tight lines on this bmx section and try and get away. I've made a bit of a gap, but one of my errors was not riding this section of the course much in practice and he gained a, a little bit, I lost a bit of time and he was right on my tail here. And I tried to ride fast, I tried to get to ride a bit slower, have a breather, defend the inside a bit and there was nothing I could do to keep him behind me. He cut back to the inside and he's overtaken me. And oof, there's still a lap and a half to go and I'm beginning to struggle a bit. He's running this section. I don't think that's faster. And then down here, can I gain again through this section? Looks like he's ridden it better and I'm not, I don't have the speed unfortunately and there's still a lap to go. I'm pretty close but and he's running this section again so uh, wow it works because he's a long way ahead. He is now a long way ahead and it is not looking too good for me. This is the last lap and for some reason I am super tired, but suddenly I'm only two seconds behind him. So this is when I make probably the biggest mistake of the whole day is I kind of gave up. Someone was catching me up and I just waved them through rather than looking forward and trying to attack. And you know, that that's not good. And this rider who just overtook me they came from really far back. They were at the back of the pack and it was so busy back there. So they've come from a long way back. But I should have been trying to move ahead rather than being defensive and just holding on to whatever 13th position, position I'm in. So you can see the rider ahead ahead is running again. And then there's a rider riding it. And then there's just me being slow, losing 25, 30 meters. I mean, that's just really bad riding, Joe. Um, disappointing. And that gap, I, I could have been right there on their wheels and then having a bit of fun for the sprint, but I lost it on the climb for not putting effort in. And in the technical, technical sections, I wasn't good enough. And I wasn't really happy to finish a race like that it's very negative and I'd like to finish races better and yeah after the race it was no warm down it was straight on the airplane off to England um, but hey on to the next one and try and learn from my mistakes